that one of the biggest questions that the whole council has is what is going to be our financial obligation if we do stop the airport and we have to come to compliance. I, I was understood by some people it's going to be in the millions. I was understood by some people it could be 100000 whatever, to repave the runway and, and fix whatever needs to be done to get to that size and width or length, okay, to be compliant. She told me that the FAA grant never stops. Once we took it, it never stops. If we stop the airport, we say we don't want this big expansion, they're going to want to know if we want to stay the same or whatever we want to do. Basically, to keep compliant, they're still going to give us the funds. There's not going to be this astro astronomical amount to pay back. They're going to pay 97% of it, close to 97% of it, as, as they are doing now. So that was a big relief to me when I heard that, that there wasn't going to be this big pie in the sky astronomical figure that we were going to have to do if we had to stay in compliance. They were going to help us stay in compliance by feeding us those grants still today. I asked her if there was anything to do that we had to change or anything else to do that. She said no. The grants keep coming. It's our decision whether we want to expand this thing as big as they're doing now or if we want to keep it the same. They're just going to say if we're going to keep it the same then here's what you got to do to be compliant. She also told me that they are in not a rush to keep compliant. She said, matter of fact, this airport right now, they have been after them to get compliant for the last six or seven years. She said, so it's not like it's a big rush to do or anything like that. As long as you're working towards a goal to become compliant, then they are more than willing to help us. So I tried to dispel it again. I said, so let's say we stopped it today and let's say we wanted to keep the airport the way it was, and then you told us that due to some of the flights coming in, we would have to widen it by 20 feet and lengthen it by 100. I said, what is our next step? She said, basically, you apply for another grant to widen it by 20 feet and lengthen it by 100 feet, and they'll pay up to 97% or close to that to the cost, just like they're doing today. So she told me there was no big figure coming out of anywhere we would have to pay back. The only time we would have to pay back is if we didn't, if we became non-compliant for such a long time, or if the airport closed. Basically, she said, point blank, if the airport closed, that's when we would have to pay something back. As far as bringing it into compliance, I, you keep saying there's no hurry. I mean, in my mind, we know the airport's not compliance now, so we need to do everything we can to bring it into compliance, and I don't mean two and three years down the road. If we're going to continue to operate the airport, we need to bring it into compliance, because we're liable for that or something that happens. So. Well, I think so they saw the same thing seven or eight years ago. They've been working on this forever. I mean, it's, I mean, it's been a long time. All I'm saying is, the big question that floated around to everybody was, we're going to have to pay this big, huge chunk of money back, and we don't. There's not a huge chunk of money to pay back. As long as we stay compliant, they will feed us the grants to stay compliant. So we have options, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, did you ask these questions the other night and what was said? No, I just sent it in the email to her the other night before we had the BOAC meeting. I mean, this question, this, this question did not come up the other night. If we fail out now, what's the cause? What, what, we asked And what you're saying is the attorney and, and the BOAC people are not telling us like it's supposed to be. When now, I'm saying well, now you said that. that. I'm saying uh, that. Well, I'm asking you. You said this, what well, I asked, an outside uh, source. According to, uh, what I asked the other night in our meeting was what would it cost us if we stopped the expansion and stay with our current airport? And what they told us is, is basically that we would have to, one, pay the expense to upgrade our airport, which may be over a million dollars to bring it up to FAA code. The city's park. Well, right, that's coming out of the city's park. We have to pay for that. We also have to pay for a new airport layout plan, and we'd have to pay for a new environmental study because the current environmental study and the current airport layout plan are for the expanded airport. <clears throat> All those things we couldn't get grants for because they've already given us grant money for the airport layout plan. 
They've already given us grant money for the environmental study, so they're not going to give us more grant money to redo what they've already given us money to do. So that's all our money. Well, I was, then, I was talking to Melanie Myers, which is our program director, for what they're doing right now. It's not, like, it's not like I just pulled this name out of the air. I mean, Don Manley knew who that person was right off the bat when I said I mean, she works with Kiefer and the whole whole crew that's working on it. So if you're insinuating or you're telling me, do I think that these guys the other night didn't tell us the straight truth from what I'm getting from her, yes. Well, that's what I was asking because you started out with saying that, that we need an outside source. Well, we're paying for an attorney here, and you're saying, well, we're not getting the information that we're supposed to be getting. Well, uh, obviously, obviously, this board, this council, at least I speak for myself and I've talked to a couple others, we don't feel like we know what's going on. I mean, we get a different answer from every single person that we talk to, or not a straight answer. So, we're going to have to do, first of all, I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to have a vote just for the taxpayers, the mayor, the council, and everybody to know where we stand on this airport issue. I mean, it's it's not a binding. I mean, it's, it's not a binding thing. Don't worry, I'll vote. Don't worry, I'll first, and we will end this meeting. If you want to keep, listen to the discussion, then keep it down, please. I mean, Larry, we're letting everyone speak. You know, your council speaking for you. Uh, council, county council, I mean city councilman Bill here. Right? I think that um, we at least owe the taxpayers and everybody else to know where we stand on. Even though, even though BOAC is running the airport, even though they own the airport, I still think it's a, a priority that we at least let the city know where we stand as a council, whether we either support this expansion or not. I think that uh, before you take any sort of vote, you should have all the facts. Don't you agree? You already said you don't know what's going on. So how can you vote uh, with an educated opinion without having the facts? If you know, if we can get uh, the lady who you were just discussing down here to attend a meeting of sorts, I think that would be good. Just to bring out the truthful facts. Well, I think with uh, having the vote. Uh, you sort of put a hiatus on whatever's going on now, and then you sort the facts out. I think part of the problem is, is if you continue with, I don't know, I don't know when it becomes to a point where we can't do anything anymore. I mean, we heard the other day from Manley that that point's already been reached, but I don't feel like it has. But how do I know? I mean. Do you know when the point of no well, return is? You said you were calling this lady, and this I asked says, her. I asked her these questions. Okay. These. And Bill, mm -hmm. as the mayor said, until you get all the facts, and then we can do an educated decision. I don't think we have time right. to well, wait around just, to get. No, we're going to get the facts. You but just said it. There's no hurry. No hurry. Well, no, 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 no. There's no hurry to do any kind of a, a deal. If we stop, then there's no hurry to become, to get our airport in compliance, is what she was saying. I didn't say there's no hurry to stop, stop an expansion. I think that's been my point all along. I mean, I've seen things already that, that make me a little bit nervous about us carrying on with it. I see an ordinance that was passed by the previous council that allowed this BOAC to have more responsibilities and take it out of the council's hands. I've seen another ordinance that got passed that basically says that the BOAC owns the airport. That ordinance was passed at the last meeting of the end of election year. And if I'm not mistaken, I think a couple of us even stood up and asked that they wait to do that until the next until the next council came in. So being that said, being that this gal is in charge of how that program goes that they're doing now for those for those things, I feel we still owe the city and the constituents some idea of where we stand on it right now. I mean, 
to be honest with you, I'm going to give my opinion just because I, I feel like I need